Hello friends, this video on chemical kinetics part 15 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now we'll talk about a very uh, uh, critical concept, actually not that uh, critical, we'll use the same formulas uh, called high half life of a reaction. So it is the time in which the concentration of reactant, first thing half life is nothing but it is, it is time. Right, this is time when my concentration of reactant is reduced to to half of initial concentration. So you see, this was my initial concentration, and this becomes half. So the time it took. Let's suppose this is my reactant. Also my reactant. So the concentration of reactant goes half that and the time it takes is t half denoted by t half t 1 by 2 is my subscript. So let's find t half for both zero order and first order reaction. So we know that uh, let's do this. Now for a zero order reaction, we know that K is nothing but R0 by R by T. R0 is initial concentration, final concentration by time taken. So T half is when my when my R becomes half of R2, right? This is my final concentration, R is my final concentration. So at T half, R is nothing but half of R2, R0. Right? R0 is my initial concentration, R is my final concentration. So T half is when my final concentration becomes half of initial concentration. Let's put the values. K is equal to R0 minus R0 by 2 by T half. Or you solve, we get T half as R0 by 2. Now if you see, T half is directly proportional to initial concentration and t half is inversely proportional to each constant. Please note here, t half directly proportional to initial concentration and t half is inversely proportional to rate constant. Please remember this formula, we will be using this formula or actually you don't need to remember, if you remember just this formula. But to solve the questions faster, it's good that you remember this formula. Correct. Now let's find the same thing for first order reaction. First order. First order we know the formula K is nothing but 2.303 by T log of R0 by R. Please remember these two formulas are very critical. This is for the zeroth order reaction. K is equal to R0 minus R by T and for this first order reaction K is equal to 2.303 by T log of R0 by R. Here we will put the values, the same values at T half R is equal to R0 by 2. So 2 point or this I can say or K is equal to 2.303 instead of T I will use T half log of R0 will be same and R I will make it as nothing but R0 by 2. So this becomes log of 2. Right? If you actually solve it, it becomes 0 0.693 by T half. Or I can say that T half is nothing but 0 0.693 by A very good equation and if you see here in this case the half life is independent of initial concentration there is no initial concentration in this and it is inversely proportional to rate constant in zero order reaction t half is inversely proportional to rate constant but it was directly proportional to initial concentration in my 
first order reaction the half life of this reaction is independent of the initial concentration and that's a very very critical observation please note t half is 0.693 by k it is totally independent of initial concentration for first order reaction but my zero order reaction t half you see is directly proportional to initial concentration but there is no initial concentration figure here t half is 0.693 by k this is also very useful formula we generally use it because a lot of equations we use is first order equation and there you have to find the half life so we directly use this formula t half is 0.693 by k if you don't remember the formula if you remember this this formula you can actually derive it in one step so the most important formulas which we should remember you can actually derive them but you can you should remember are these two formulas this is more important for the first order reaction the value of k and this for the zero order reaction the value of k this is pretty easy right initial concentration minus final concentration by t that is nothing but k we will take some numericals now a first order reaction the so first thing is it is first order reaction is found to have rate constant k is given this is 10 to the power minus 14 per second so just by looking at the rate const a unit only i can make out it is a first order reaction so even if this is not given if it says a reaction is found to have rate constant this you can actually tell it is a first order reaction looking at the unit find the half life of the reaction we just derived the formula for first order reaction t half is nothing but 0.693 by k just put the formula values here 0.693 by k is 5.5 10 to the power minus 4 per second you solve this you get 1.26 into 10 to the power 14 second so that is the half life of this particular reaction right this is the time it took for concentration to become half we have to show that the first order reaction the time requires to complete 99.9 percent .9 is 10 times the t half of the reaction see in first there are two case case one my r is nothing but 99 percent complete the reaction is 99 percent complete that is r naught minus 9 this r now that is nothing but 0.001 r naught this is my first case in case two my final concentration is half of initial concentration that is my t half right there are two two conditions so we have to show that the time required in both the cases has a relationship of 10 times so let's find the time required in both the cases case one the formula we know is case 2.303 by t log of r naught by r correct so t will become what t is 2.303 by k log of r naught by r r naught r is what here r is 0 0.001 r naught correct you saw there is nothing but 6.909 by in the first case case 2 case 2 i directly know t half is nothing but 0 0.6903 by k. i can directly use the formula right this is my t1 and this is my let's suppose t2 this is my t half Now let's see a relation between t1 and 2. If you see, this is 6.909 by k and this is 0 0.6903 by k. I can say that t1 is nothing but 10 times of t2. If you, if you don't know this, what you can do is, this is let's suppose equation 1 and equation 2. You just divide these two equations. You get t1 by t2 is nothing but 6.909 by k divided by 0 0.6903 by k and that will come out to be nothing but 10. 
Thus, you can say that T1 by T2 is 10. There is nothing but T1 is equal to 10 times T2. Pretty easy. So, in both the case, just find the time it takes and derive the relationship between them. Correct. Let's do a recap of what we have seen. We have focused on two types of reactions, zeroth order and the first order. In both cases, we have react into product kind of equation. Both has two different differential law. In this case, it was dr by dt is minus k because it was to the power 0. Here, dr by dt is minus k into r to the power 1. That was the differential plate law. In this case, my kt was nothing but r0 minus r. We just told k is nothing but r0 minus r by t. That is a very critical formula. And in this case, we use this uh, equation k is nothing but 2.303 by this formula we use here. 2.303 by t log of r0 by r. Instead of 2.303, they have used ln. Right? So I'll write both the equation k. In this case, it is k is r0 minus r by t. The same thing, kt is equal to r minus r. And in this case, this is the formula. Instead of ln, if you see, we have used 2.303 into log. And if you talk about the plotting of the graph, right? r versus t is a straight line. If you see r versus t is a straight line constant. Here, ln r versus t will be a straight line because if you see, kt is nothing but something in the form of ln. Right? Half life we have seen is ln 2 by k, that is nothing but 0 0.6, 0 0.6093 by k, and here it is r0 by 2k. And if you talk about the units, since it is a first order, it is unit is per second or per time, uh, per minutes, per hour, and here it is moles per liter per second. So that is the difference between first order and the zero order equation. Very, very critical slide. This part is very much important actually. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online tests, get pre-study materials, find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.